Hi everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Andromeda Adventures. We are joined by our entire crew today, and no announcements, so let's get right into it and cue that intro. Hey Chooms, welcome back to Neon Noir. We are here with the Sexy Hexes. And they've been going through a little bit of downtime as they've been caught in a little bit of a mess. While they handle a couple of jobs. Ume, why don't you catch us up on what's been going on with the crew? Well, last time there was some shopping, which is, as you know, is always a fun activity. Um, Hex and I did some shopping. I think there's some other shopping that people did. And then, uh, but it all kind of culminated with a visit over in town. Uh, we were trying to figure out what to do next. Um, you know, we had a couple of things that were going on that we weren't quite sure how to handle. Everything from this um, revelation that Bruce had kind of gotten us involved in her planning and manipulated us. I think we were particularly upset with how she kind of manipulated Nova and kind of implicated her in this whole crime by using the ammunition that she had created. So we weren't sure what to do with Bruce, but we had these jobs going on. There's that Adrian King job with the Cherry 5000 that we were working on. And then on top of it, Bruce was still hiring us to find the quote unquote killer of, uh, of that Victor guy. So we were, um, you know, yeah, well, whatever, not sure what to do. A lot of talking back and forth. With Adrian King, at least we kind of got a plan. Um, you know, get the Cherry 5000 tracker. Um, Nova made this really, really nice note. Got the dates wrong. But uh, the note was great. Um, and so, yeah, with the note, we... Um, thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll maybe lure him to Tech World and uh, jump him, I think is the basic plan. Um, as for the other job, we have this... Uh, Lying Eddie, Fast Eddie, Lucky Eddie. Lucky Eddie's the name. Um, some contact that Hex knows. So go to him. See if we can't find at least, I think they were kind of looking at this woman who, uh, or I think it's a woman. I think there was a comment about it being a woman somewhere along the way um, who uh, was the one who pulled the trigger. And um, trying to figure out who that one, who that person was. Um, Bard asked me for relationship advice, which, you know, as you know, I'm always happy to give. And um, I think he and Hex had uh, some talking to do. Um, and then we all went home for the night. I believe, uh, yeah, that's where we currently stand. All right. As we jump in to tonight's episode, you guys all settled in for the night. Uh was there anything you guys wanted to do until Friday? I know some of you had plans for Friday. What day of the week is it now? Uh, Thursday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have... I can't fix my clothes. Alright. So... S I'm, I'm, go ahead. I did have plans for Friday. Um... Do I know when that movie date is with Bruce and Hex? I don't believe so. I think we just talked about it. Just being on Friday? Yeah. Um, Sometime okay, Friday so, night. Yeah, okay, so then Thursday, I'm going to need to break into Hex's place when she's not there. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So... You wait I love around. You, you live next door. <laughs> so it's not hard for you to wait. I love it's Hex right to... when she buys something new. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't hard for you to wait for Hex to, to go out to the convenience store or whatnot, you know, running to grab some, some drinks or something. Uh, Hex, would you regularly lock your apartment? Of 
course I would. Are you crazy? Okay. Just <laughs> I'm making a sure. I'm alone and I live in Night City. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, locks only keep honest people honest. <laughs> Not like it's going to stop her. <laughs> but we did give each other keys, right? <laughs> so that that way, if we get locked out, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Which you mean Nova stole your keys, right? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Maybe we actually did do that. I, I <laughs> no, think you guys did. I, was yeah. like, I think we actually did. Yeah, I think it was after the first big <laughs> job so when y'all partied. You girl code. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nova, you walk over to the apartment and know that it's locked and pull out your guest key. <laughs> Unlocking the door and make your way into Hex's apartment. Hex, describe your new entertainment system setup and what your new apartment looks like with the futon. I mean, it's still the same apartment, just with a lot less space in it now. Um, I'm not really sure what one of these holographic um, projection things looks like or how much like real estate that takes up in your apartment, but um, it is now the room of a gamer girl. <laughs> <laughs> And the futon, like, faces it, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, you yes. can see the futon in the living room kind of set up in one way, and they're, they're against the wall, there's the hollow projector. Like, the, it might even be a bit system. reminiscent of a shrine, and, like, you can just tell that she probably lives in, like, a semicircle in this area. There'd be, like, you know, the wads of paper have now aligned themselves <laughs> in such a manner as to suggest someone sits in the middle and everything else just happens around them. <laughs> You can see the uh, the vinyl record player set up to the stereo system and the speakers all around the living room. Exactly. Um, it's an, it's okay. an improvement over just wads of paper. There's still plenty of paper that have found new surfaces to live on. <laughs> and you have you have a cat, right? Yes. And your cat's name is <laughs> Pet. Yeah, that's right. So I sit, I sit down on the um, the futon, and I just kind of like throw my legs back. It's pretty comfortable. As, it's as black. Pet comes up. I'll just sort of pet the the cat, oh, and I'll give him a little scritchies, yeah. little scritchies. The cat will um, enjoy this, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and I, I say to the cat, um, "Where should I put this?" As I'm looking at the the system. Cat bites your hand. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> just like, just like touchy, like, hmm. Let's see. It's going to have to be, look, and I stand up and I look and I, I do some like visioning. I'm, I'm like, okay, Bruce is going to sit there. No, no, probably there. And then Hex will probably sit there. So, and I then just do 180 and I look and I, and I'm I'm looking for a really nice place to put it that when the when you turn on the system, like mm -hmm. that's my that's the idea. Your best guess would be setting it up in the actual hollow projector, so that as the power comes on and it projects the light, it would detonate and project the the paint. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, make a. You have to make two checks here. Okay. You're gonna have to make a demolitions to rig it. Okay. Uh -huh. and you're gonna have mm -hmm. to make a hide evade to conceal it. Okay. Let's do the demolitions first. Um, demolitions. Um, I'm gonna spend some luck because I gotta. This has gotta go well. Um, we get all of our luck back, right? So I'm at mm -hmm. 10 again. So um, see, I'm going to use three on this one. Three okay. luck. Going going high on this one. What did, I, what did I get? What did I get? 28. 28. Yeah. Okay, there you go. 28. So you've got a very good rig set up. You know, they'll hear the, the THX surround. And right as it pit peaks, that's when it'll go off. And I, I kind of angle it so that it'll get. The futon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then 
hide and evade. Yep. I don't have anything in hide and evade. Use some luck. Got to use that. So luck. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use another. Th- Ooh, should I use another three luck at the very start of the? I'm gonna use two it. luck. What's the worst that could happen? Um. <laughs> No, never say other, that. Nick. Other than very bad things. Never say I'm that. Gonna use, it, I'm going to use two luck. Okay. Ready? You've used five luck in 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's the like, start of stream. It's important. It's set up a paint This is Nova's vengeance, okay? This is important. Um, Look, when she needs to set up an actual bomb. 16. 16? It's decently hidden. Okay. It's not immediately um, noticeable. And then I, as I get it kind of in there, and I'm going to lay back down on the futon, um, probably almost like squishing pet. Oh, sorry. Oh, pet. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. That's okay. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. um, I'm, I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to see if I can see it in the eyesight. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm going to put my, sh- my um, I'm gonna put my like cross my legs real quick, put my hands behind my head. Make a luck check for me. Oh shit! <laughs> Roll an exploding d10 backslash r space one d10 exclamation point, and tell me if it's above or below your luck. Are you gonna paint yourself? Um, okay, just so, so you know, that's your current luck after having spent five. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so <laughs> backslash what? Backslash r space one d10 exclamation point. Exclamation point and go. Oh, that is wow. a four, and my luck is currently a five. Okay. Hex Nova. does not come home while you're in the middle of this. <laughs> oh, no. um, I say, okay, okay. Um, and then I, I jump back up. I kind of like situate the stuff again, trying to make it look like I wasn't there. And then um, I say, Shh, pet, don't tell anybody. And then I hide out. I go out oh. the door. I make sure I lock it back, and uh, I'm going to go back into my my uh, my apartment, and I'm going to look at my little people. Hex, you apartment. are getting home as bed. you are seeing Nova walk into her apartment. Oh, oh, oh! Hey oh, there, hi. Nova. How's it going? Oh, oh, good. I'm just uh, I'm getting back from uh, Tech World. I'm just going to grab a couple of things and then head back. Oh, so. feels busy. Is, well, it, is it Bruce? Is she keeping you busy? Oh, no, no. She I is just the one that cause... has you currently employed. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's it's not that. I'm just, uh, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm probably, because everything's going to go down at Tech World, and I don't want my stuff there, you know, like Chopper and all that. Um, I want to get my stuff back over here. Um, my Holovid and display, you know, that stuff. I, I just want to get it all back into the apartment just because, you know, if that place blows up, I don't want my stuff to be there, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Uh, well, but it's expensive equipment. I don't want it to be ruined or anything. Yeah, that'd be a real shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it you, was good. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what day of the week is this? Thursday. Thursday? Mid afternoon. Right. You just went to get some snacks from the convenience store. Okay. Well, I imagine that I've probably been setting up to have our movie night because that's going to be tomorrow, I think. I or wait, no wait. Tomorrow yeah, that's I have a d- tomorrow with you have Bruce, to date right? with Bruce. Right, but Bruce is coming over here. That's right. So okay. Is the movie yeah. night tonight? Yeah, Sorry. Bruce, Bruce, <laughs> Bruce hijacked. Bruce hijacked the plan of the movie night, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um. um well, you had wanted to invite people over for a movie night. Yeah, but then I wasn't sure if, like, after everything that went down, if... I I think Bruce basically <laughs> self-invited herself. Yeah, well, Bruce Bruce made it... Bruce, like, Hex mentioned a movie, and then Bruce was like, oh, I'll come for a date. And then it was like, okay, and then... That's not okay, exactly so. what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah th- I don't... I don't remember exactly what happened, but I don't think that was quite it either. Uh, I I just remember like I think like, we were going to do it on Saturday or to, Sunday was the idea. Like I think so yeah, because yeah. like I needed to talk to her first mm-hmm. before like I have. So like yeah. I don't think that my date thing with Bruce on I, Friday I, I, is actually like a movie night. I think it was more. It like, was yeah. She she said you, you were there. Yeah. 
and I bring the entertainment, but like it, it's supposed to be like us talking. Yeah. More more than anything, and to see if like if she exhibits like any contrition or I don't know any any sort of acknowledgement of even just accountability for <laughs> you know stitching us up, <laughs> trying to stitch us up. <laughs> Um, because I, I was trying to gauge, like, what, if it's going to be worth our time to have her talk to the rest of the crew, or if we're just done with her. But, yeah, so, did you finish talking Nova and head into your apartment? Are you doing anything? Uh, well, I'm probably, like, starting to frantically clean up all the piles of paper. And like, <laughs> Make an awareness <laughs> notice for me. When did we determine the... And... I think I would probably ask, when it, When are you having the movie night with Bruce again? Uh, oh, she's supposed to come over here tomorrow. I think around tomorrow? 8. Yeah. Um, I'll follow Hex into her apartment. You need some like help cleaning up or something? or? <laughs> I mean, if you if you want to, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, my my cat's a little skittish. Make an awareness notice. Yeah, I I am. I don't know why I'm having her. Oh, awareness. I don't know why when it, I'm I'm always looking for it to actually say awareness notice. There we go. Twenty two. Okay, so you notice as Nova's like reaching to pick up some of the papers. She's got a cat bite on her hand. And it looks like there's a speaker that's been set up next to the hollow projector. Should I just put this over in the <laughs> trash? Where's the trash can? I just throw it out in the hallway. <laughs> um, uh, what, right. what was it that you said, Bruce? How'd you do this afternoon? <laughs> Oh, oh, nothing, nothing really. I was just, um, I'm, I'm moving over. You know the bike that I have that I've been working on. I'm going to move it over to the apartment and just a bunch of my other stuff. You know, I got that 3D printer down there now, so I'm mm -hmm. going to bring it back. And hey, you don't have any pets, do you? No, no, I don't have any pets. Oh. No, I don't. You, you should get that pets. looked at. That looks pretty bad. What happened? Oh yeah, yeah. Just um, I look over at pet. Uh, nothing really. It was um, probably you know I got a lot of bugs. Make a persuasion fast talk and uh, <laughs> human perception. <laughs> oh God! Persuasion fast talk. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, and hex I make a human perception check. All right. <laughs> Empathy? Is that where that is? Yeah, there it is. I'm not going to spend any more luck on this because <laughs> Frosty. Frosty will make me roll it again. So I got a 12 for Persuasion Fast Talk. I got a 19. <laughs> so you can Three. tell <laughs> something's up with Nova. <laughs> She's definitely <laughs> looking at your cat a bit when talking about the... the Cat's like licking its, licking its paw. Why do I feel like my cat knows something that I don't know? <laughs> do you speak cat? <laughs> no, but I know a tiefling who does. <laughs> uh, let's see. You. <laughs> Is this, I, I pick up um, some clothes and, uh, is this Bards? Is it the t shirt? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you remember when I sort of like, you know, got lit on fire briefly. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Sinched, sinched, okay. Yeah. So I bought backup, so I, I can give that back to him now. But, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's probably. Nothing Did happened. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't, um, Presume, you know. Oh, right, because no one in the group has assumed what Aikido practices. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, give you your space, you know, and 
seemed like it was getting a little serious, so. Oh, well, I mean, like, look, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, moving parts going on right now. I'm trying to keep all of our heads above water. I know what Bruce did to you was fucked up. Like, she's yeah. coming over what? here tomorrow, but I think everybody's thinking I'm trying to, like, let her off the hook here or something. I'm not. Like, I'm going to hold her feet to the fire. She's, I don't want her to be able to talk to you guys and tell you, tell you, her little honeyed stories and bullshit if she's not going to be accountable here because that's not going to do anybody any fucking good. If we're going to work with her, it has to be on different terms. She can't be like doing what she did to you. Yeah. Um, well, I, I really appreciate that, Hex. I, I do. I, I, I um, you know, I have history of other gangs and things that I've worked on and um, I'll just, you know, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't ever end very well. And I just kind of assumed that this would end at some point, but I really don't want it to. And um, if that means that, you know, we got to work with Bruce and I got to put up with, you know, whatever Bruce's thing goes, then that's fine too. You know, it's, 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 it is what it is, but like, I guess what I'm just saying is, is I, I'm, I trust you. I trust you, Hex. I know. That's why I'm like, uh, like I said, I feel like I'm standing between you guys and a shark right now. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> well, um, if you need a backup, just let me know. Well, I appreciate that, Nova. You don't have to be the only one standing in between. Well, in the end, we might not be, and they're all together might be, you might not be having to be working with her or for her in the future. It's going to kind of depend on her and what she says. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really like what I heard on the phone, which was a lot of excuses and... I, I know she's supposed to be like a boss and all that in the city, but like I I, I don't I don't want to have a boss like that. And I know you don't either. Well, uh, you know I got a a little bit of experience with Bruce even before the the gang, and um, I know I don't want to be on her bad side because she's got a lot of power. But like, you know, now we do too. You know, and. You know, sometimes people respect a little bit of a pushback, you know, like a little bit of a a fight back, you know, nothing harmful or anything, just, you know, just something to say, you know, we're not just going to go quietly, you know? Well, I think we made that pretty clear. So really, it's kind of the balls in her court right now. Yeah. If she yeah, can... That's treat us like allies that's one thing but if she's gonna keep treating us like we're expendable <clears throat> she was gonna it looked like a stitch up there's no other way to look at that i understand covering your ass in this city but yeah yeah the yeah. way that all went down not cool yeah with with the the big bosses yeah well um hopefully your movie night goes well and, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I appreciate oh, it. I appreciate hopefully. the hand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I pick up one of the pieces of paper that she's like balled up and I undo it a little bit and, um, I kind of admire it for a second. And then I set it down on her, her desk and I say, um, you know, you really shouldn't, shouldn't throw this stuff away. And I know sometimes you might not like like your work and you might think that it's terrible but like you know some people might like it some people might like it well thanks nova <laughs> i guess i guess i don't like to get too attached to things yeah i think yeah. that's a good <laughs> damn I think all that's of a, you <laughs> yeah i think that's a good policy don't get too attached to things you know hmm. um yeah, because it's just stuff, you know? It's just stuff and like 
Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just stuff. And, and, you know, I love, you know, you know me, I love my tools and my, you know, that's a nice entertainment center, for example. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's, it's people that matter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Though I I won't lie, I really do like my new entertainment center. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. It, is it nice. really is. It is. Uh, have you is. watched anything on it yet? Uh oh no, I haven't yet. Ooh. Oh, maybe we should turn it on together. No, I was actually thinking that you should probably. <laughs> they say that the first time you turn it on is the best experience. I think you should wait until Bruce uh, comes uh, and. Yeah, but I mean, like, I love you a hell of a lot more than I love Bruce. I mean, it's just a reason I would want, like, one of my best friends here with me when I turn this thing on. She just <laughs> smiles fucking so sweetly at you. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, th- I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get going, actually. So, uh, I gotta get the, the chopper back to the... <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, human perception. Oh, where did it go? I was just there. Oh, here we are. 20. That's good enough. Um, one of the things I would point out is Nova's usually all into tech. Yeah, I'm so surprised she doesn't that, want to like look like, at the new to try system out with the me. New tech. It well, is what so else, weird. Nova, would that twenty, which is a pretty good roll, be able to read from you? Um, let's see. Over the conversation, um, Nova is not happy about Bruce. Um, Nova's personality is to kind of like get revenge in really big and boisterous ways. You know that just because, not even because of that. Um, and she's just not happy with Bruce. And um, you know that Nova, like, she was serious in saying that, um, like, while she's not happy with Bruce, she doesn't know, like, she doesn't necessarily think that, like, getting rid of Bruce or getting away from Bruce is the is necessarily the option. You think she really does want to just sort of follow your lead there. Um, but because of the things that she was saying about like, um, you know, sometimes you have to show people that you're not just going to get pushed around or whatever, you know, that she, she, she could be seeking revenge on Bruce. I think that's as far as, as, as I'll go there. You're muted. I don't blame her. Um, <laughs> I'm um, sure what went down, but yeah, it would probably be a little. <laughs> I head towards the door. Um, yeah, I got to get that. I think I don't know how I'm going to get that motorcycle up these steps. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. That's for sure. Um, but uh, hey, seriously though, don't turn that on until you, your movie night with Bruce. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye, Nova. Thanks for helping. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll shut the door. Okay. And Hex, who is already like a pretty suspicious character, is now like <laughs> looking around the apartment. <laughs> Where is it and what is it? <laughs> Maybe I should call Reverend. <laughs> I need a specialist. <laughs> call, 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 Re- call Bard for detection, Reverend for removal. Re- <laughs> Reverend, Reverend, I think Nova set up a bomb in my apartment. <laughs> Reverend's like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> the only thing that I'll you be, notice out right of the ordinary is the weird speaker set up next to the hollow projector. Right. Which I would definitely be like, nosing around but also like too tentative is i'm not a tech so i'm like not trying to like jiggle this thing or wiggle anything <laughs> loose <laughs> i think there's an explosive by this tv let me just pick it up and shake it <laughs> <laughs> what's inside 
Um, yeah, no, so I mean, yeah, I'm that, that eyeballing the thing. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Fuck. <laughs> 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 um, Looking and... around, you notice there's some papers out of place. It's hard to tell what was out of place before <laughs> Nova helped yeah. clean up. Yeah, uh, but in conjunction <laughs> with all the other things. Hmm. Ugh. And she didn't want to turn anything on. Oh, man. Can I turn anything on? <laughs> 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 I, I'm just going to be... Okay, she couldn't have fucked with my phone because it was in my pocket. So I'm going to text Reverend. <laughs> Help. <laughs> we may need to take a break to fix the uh, cameras. Andrew has to go. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I need to I need to head out. Um I have an emergency to take her up. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it has uh, nothing to do with paint or entertainment centers, I promise. <laughs> and, uh, Andrew has to we'll go make a, a we'll tech, take a brief break. Tech roll. <laughs> Yep. All right. So we are live. Uh, Reverend, you get a text that just says help from Hex. Reverend will text her back and just say Nova. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in about. 20 or 30. <laughs> you get a smiley face and a bomb and a thumbs up. <laughs> on, on the way to Hex's, I'm going to stop by a hardware store. <laughs> okay. And, and buy a big tarp and like a uh, rope and stuff. <laughs> that set you back about 80 eddies. Okay. And then however uh, long it takes plus to get the, there. Plus the, the cab drive there. So about uh, 100. Yeah. That makes Pull up to, to Hex's. Uh, make your way in and see Hex kind of looking around, staring nervously at the light switches. <laughs> I have no, no idea how deep this goes. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bomb. <laughs> it, nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, nothing to worry just, about. <laughs> just Nova being Nova. <laughs> yeah. But that is you something do remember, to worry about. <laughs> yes, I was going to say you do remember that when I met her, she handed me a live grenade with no pin. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm tracking. I remember. <laughs> yeah. So, forgive a girl for leaving all of her lights off right now. <laughs> Sorry, I love how Reverend is so unfazed. It feels like a lot of this is probably due to Bard. <laughs> uh, 
Does she have a key to your place? Yes, she does. <laughs> okay, well, that makes it easier for her. Sure, yes, it, well, even if I she didn't have a key, I mean, she's a skilled tech. I, if she wants in my apartment, she's probably going to get in my apartment. <laughs> uh, under his breath, Reverend's going to be like, well, she can't get through a bathroom door, so. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how much you give her to drink, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing she wasn't drinking last night, then. Uh... Well, that's why I'm concerned. What, what was she doing? I don't know. I I ran into her in the hall. She looked like she was just like getting into her apartment. She had a cat bite on her hand. There's only there's only a couple of us that have a cat. Well, and mine's the only one that's really accounted for right now. So. Yeah, I, th I think you're the only one with a cat right now. Yeah, I think so. So she looked real nervous. Was like very eager to help me clean my apartment. Uh, oh, and my speaker was pulled away from everything else. And, uh, it, that's not where I left it. <laughs> even though it's difficult to do, I'm going to say Reverend pulls off giving you side eye like, and that wasn't suspicious for <laughs> cleaning your apartment. It was. That's why I mentioned it. I was like, she was a little eager to help me clean my apartment. Guilty conscience much. <laughs> 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 eh, I'm sure she's not that guilty. More like just covering it up. <laughs> exactly. And I got a funny feeling that she would like, you know, to exact a bit of revenge on Bruce, which, you know, I mean, hey, I can't blame a girl, but yeah. still. <laughs> but, by the way, nice uh, boots on. Oh, As Reverend's you. throwing this tarp out, putting it over the boots on. <laughs> <laughs> The cat's under the hey. tarp. Under the, under the tarp. <laughs> Playing with the edge of the tarp. <laughs> just under just, the tarp, like you patting it up. <laughs> just because, uh, you know, cleanup is kind of a pain some days. And with how much we're handling bodies and stuff. <laughs> Whose body want you. are you preparing for, Reverend? <laughs> <laughs> she says, looking around nervously. <laughs> well, let... I don't have, I have much furniture. Makes it easier to clean up. All I have is a big one. <laughs> well, I yeah. guess the new entertainment system, which I mean, I really like it. I'm so hoping to keep it intact. <laughs> well, uh, give me a sec. And I, I'm going to assume if she messed with anything, it was over here. So if you just want to go do your thing, you'll probably Make an awareness take notice. While. All right. And I will use my goggles for 22. You definitely spot the connections between the speaker and the hollow projector. Looks like it's been rigged up to explode. Very, very intricately rigged. Hmm. So I haven't found anything yet, but it might take me a while to go through everything. Oh, yay! So, uh, so you may not want to wait. I don't know if you have anything else you need to do today. Let's see, it's Thursday. Uh, well, I at some point we're probably going to want to get everyone together and figure out what our next moves are, but I don't think that's today. Yeah, and I know we have a lot going on tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of a discussion with bruce and figure out a path forward and talk to y'all after i do to find out where we all stand with her and what you guys want to do about it then we can figure out what moves we want to make from there sounds like a plan i don't know if she's gonna ever acknowledge what she was uh <laughs> that she got caught <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound like she got caught, because you didn't call her out on it. Oh, no, we did, which was how we found out that, yeah, she was kind of, like, uh, angling a little bit to, you know, mutually assured destruction here. Oh, Reverend's confused now. He was talking about Nova. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> You're no, good. I haven't I haven't talked to Nova about the, yeah, because I don't know what the fuck she put in where. 
Also, I don't blame Nova. I completely blame Bruce. <laughs> Understandable. And <laughs> even if this is most likely possibly meant for Bruce, because she may have told me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she, uh, because you're here, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing that harmful. Just, you know, Nova and a light prank. <laughs> As he's just sort of, like, flicking one of the wires, looking at the whole setup. <laughs> hmm. I'm, like, standing at, chat. like, the farthest corner of the room. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not messing with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, let's see. As Reverend just keeps tinkering around in the setup, <laughs> make a luck check. All right. <laughs> Roll, uh, backslash R, space 1D10, exclamation Exclamation. Point. That's, uh, 19. Oh, shit! <laughs> As you're, oh, like, no! hit, like, flicking the wires with it, like, you bump a button and you hear the, the thing starts to light up and power up as all of the sound starts to project. Yeah, and you can see the hollow projector starting to project like the default sort of screen image, and then boom! There's like a spray of colors in every direction, and spiraling as, around. As a uh, Reverend <laughs> heard the wind up, he's just gonna lay flat on his back. <laughs> Make a dodge check. I feel like Pet, unfortunately, would be inspecting the sound and get the full black blast. <laughs> Pet's underneath the tarp. <laughs> oh, now she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cat. They can be anywhere they want to be. <laughs> uh, where is Dodge? Oh, Dodge escape. There it is. 19? 19? Not quite enough. As you go to duck and the splatter hits your back and across your mask. And Hex, you are standing there, like, looking at... And just... You are plaited up in pink, neon green, purple, and neon orange. As your whole apartment looks like a punk plaid debut. <laughs> and you can see little <laughs> sparks coming off of your in, your hollow projector as the, the video distorts and fades. Did you buy the warranty? <laughs> <laughs> I think this would uh, cancel the warranty. In, in in Night City, they don't have warranty for crazy people. I think you're <laughs> muted, Hex. I don't think they have. I don't think they have insurance for this. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I have a well, fully new redecorated apartment and. <laughs> Well, I uh, <laughs> found what she left for you. <laughs> oh, I see that. Yeah, no, how can I not see that? It's everywhere. You're, like, you are covered. <laughs> <laughs> well, not everything's a mess. And he reverend looks at the couch. <laughs> <laughs> the couch is covered by the tarp. <laughs> and so the there's a little cat moving around underneath the tarp. <laughs> with, like, with like a pink tail. <laughs> like, a, like the little tail was out of the tarp, the tail was pink. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's just uh, screaming. It's a Siamese. They scream real loud. There's no way I'm getting my deposit back now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can uh, tell Nova she owes you a favor. Uh, she owes me a new freaking holo projector. <laughs> I just bought it. God damn it. Did you get the warranty? <laughs> <I'm just asking. laughs> I know. But Reverend's doing it, it since you can't be. These explosions. <laughs> you know how they uh, are. They're going to be like, ah, this is water damage. <laughs> they, they may cover uh, Cyber Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> 
just show them a picture of Nova, they'd be like, oh, yep, that's Cyber Psycho. <laughs> yeah, since apparently you know she's personally. wanted by everyone. <laughs> like, she's already been thrown out of their store. <laughs> like, no, look, you do it. They're like, oh, you didn't buy the Nova warranty. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expanded warranty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More fine print. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, well, I can try and fix it, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all right. Uh, at least you tried, and at least nobody died. So, hey, and at least I think my shower still works. <laughs> I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> I'm going to need to be, uh, I guess I'm going to be cleaning paint for a minute. <laughs> well, you could yeah. just let it dry. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe the walls, but I don't imagine I want to leave this all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the cat starts to like, run around the paint and start leaving little paw prints everywhere. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you put a clear coat over it, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay, well, you know where I'll be cleaning paint for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Reverend, you head out, heading back home. As the rest of you go about your day. I'm going to, Frosty, just as an FYI, I'm going to uh, spend some time reading one of my books. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read my... For the one IP? Composition book. Right. How to write like Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, Ume, are you doing anything? I think uh, Ume is probably going to do two things. One is just just checking to see when Neon Pulse's next like gig is scheduled for not that she cares she doesn't care she, she totally doesn't care i mean doesn't she's care not abandoned. she doesn't care anymore but you know she might just check you know just in case just in she case. doesn't care yeah, yeah you know yeah make a streetwise yeah. she's, she's way over them she's totally over them she doesn't care about them why should she care about them she doesn't care See, i'm not going to spend luck on this uh because i think that'd be funnier if i oh i still got a 19. A 19. So, looking around, not too hard. You know, just checking a few things. You know, you, you know the punk rock forums, the synthwave forums, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like um, Neon Pulse is uh, playing at the uh, Atlantis. Hmm. Uh, in two weeks, along with Smeg and the Heads, and Bad Luck. That's, I don't like that. That means they're doing better than... We never played at the Atlantis. Yeah. They, were, they, were, they were a really shitty band. They're still a shitty band. They've got a gig at the Atlantis. They're not the only ones. There's like three bands playing. The big band know, that everyone's but, looking for. But to like, the like in my in my characters in my characters' luck. backstory, we never made it big. Yeah. Um. I actually have one thing I'd like to do when you're done with this that I just thought of that I really want to do. But... I mean, it's no afterlife gig, right? And they're not playing at the afterlife, but. Uh... The Inlands is a decent gig. They're they're one of the openers, along with Smeg and the Heads, for uh, the Japanese band Bad Luck. Uh, and then the other thing I was going to do is just spend the day, like just you know, practicing guitar and. Yeah, roll your uh, play instrument. Twenty-two. You're getting a really good, solid groove going. Working on a uh, practicing your guitar. That'll be a success. Uh, Bard, what did you want to do? 
I'm gonna library search for Bombay kittens for sale in Night City and try and go get a kitten, because A, now that my apartment is clean, when I get Cat back, because I will get Cat back, she'll need someone to entertain her while I'm edge running. And two, I miss my cat. <laughs> and I want a cat. So, <laughs> and most of my good furniture is for a cat, so I'm gonna go look for a cat. Um, yeah. All right, make a library search. I will spend a luck on this, because I don't want to fail. I need myself a cat. Eighteen. Eighteen? Um, so you would find that there aren't very many specific cat breeds in night city there a are black a kitten a black kitten basically uh, black but there are plenty of shelters that have plenty of ki uh, kittens for sale and adoption um but you would find numerous breeders online willing to to send and ship uh do, do any of the the, the, the shelters have a, a, a cute looking black kitten that looks like they're fun um uh, looking for a female Looking around, you see there is a uh, orange-colored tabby with a cyber limb. Uh, uh, and like a little malformed nose. There is a uh, black kitten that uh, has a little like uh, one eye looks a little larger and ears a little chomped off. Uh, and you can see it's missing a few patches of fur. Uh, rescued from a uh, wasteland uh, fa abandoned factory. Uh, there is a gray and blue sort of swirl patterned uh, older cat. Um uh, that uh, has like several bends and breaks in its tail and is reportedly responsible for several break ins. Uh... <laughs> no, I don't need another. Cat. I need, I need a... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a breeder. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a cat shipped. I have some money for that. Um, get a little get a little Bombay kitten, black kitten, basically. But it, but they're very nice. They're very affectionate. They play well with other cats. That's all I need right now. <laughs> How much would that cost me? I'm assuming about 500 I think so, yeah. All right, I'll do that. I'll expedite the shipping for another 100 So. All right. Should you guys go about the date? Reverend. Yeah. Friday rolls around, and it's time for your lunch with Mr. Dick Roman. Uh, it is indeed. You get the invite to the very fancy restaurant in Corporate Plaza Tower. Well, uh, since I've had a bit of time, Reverend would have probably just cleaned up, cleaned the paint off of uh, his clothes and mask. All right. And... Make a personal grooming. Whoops, wrong computer for that. <laughs> Nine. Nine? The paint just won't come off. Well, well. <laughs> Guess right. I'm going like this. <laughs> so you head out uh, to the lunch and as you arrive you can see Dick in his very nice sort of gray suit and tie white shirt, slicked hair ang uh, sort of roundish angular features uh, as he's saying they're carving up a steak uh, please reverend have a seat Pleasure to see you again, sir. It's been too long. 
You know I hate it when you call me sir. It's supposed to be Dick. That's right. Sorry, Dick. Not a problem. I'll keep reminding you. You'll figure it out eventually. So, I hear your edge running. Why don't you tell me about what you've been getting up to? Well, if the pain on my clothes isn't evident enough, we have a... Certainly colorful. Yes, a prankster and her little group of misfits. Quite the characters you must be running with. Indeed. Very explosive personality, too. If you catch my drift. Uh, But we've done a few odd jobs for Fixer at the Half-Life. Man. Well, sounds like you're starting to take to life. Which reminds me, I would like to talk to you about an opportunity. You see, several of our followers have been suffering from various health detriments. And while you're no longer with Trauma Team... Being an edge runner, I assume you have plenty of opportunities for disposable parts. I do, actually. I have a Fantastic. couple of items. Would you uh, need exactly anything specific or just... Livers, kidneys, lungs. You know, the usual. Plenty the of smokers ones. in our following. Need a... Uh... Some miracles performed, I see. Indeed. Always need to to supply those parts. And, you know, I'm thinking you're in just the position to provide it. Yeah, we should have a couple of potential donors this weekend. So I could probably get you some thanks. Love your initiative, kid. (laughs) Well, I learned from the best, and I... Tell me, how have you been doing following our tenants? It's been a while since you uh, came into the fold. Have you been studying the good book? It's been a minute. It's been real hectic with uh, everything that's happened at Trauma Team. I understand. You know, they're lost, though. You really do show great potential, kid. It's why I'm looking out for you. I know, it's thanks to you I got on the team to begin with. Well, you know, you gotta raise talent up when you spot it. Speaking of which, are there any bright up-and-comers in your crew? Anyone that might be able to be brought into the fold that needs to learn the good word? (laughs) Well, you can try, but honestly, they're all kind of degenerates degenerates i can work with that you know our particular organization has been uh, having a little bit of trouble with a particular individual have you heard of uh suzy lou i believe we can i can't exactly remember well she's a sort of sultry uh hostess of channel two gives sort of a sex oh, side that, and influences that's suzy people lou to yeah, uh, indulge in some of their baser instincts and we've been wanting to make an example of her if you think your crew might be up for it I've got a job for them well do you need a just a message sent or you need her to stop with her heretical ways I'd like to educate her on her heretical ways personally. I was looking for a team that might be able to covertly extract her. I can see, but I can't make any promises. Well, I know you've got that silver tongue, so why don't you practice that persuasion and see what you can do with your team. For now, eat up. They've got the best stakes here. All right. And Reverend will take his mask off, putting it on the edge of the table. (laughs) As all you can see is his back. Did you enjoy a nice lunch? sneezes. (laughs) Dick talks to you about the people you've been working with and jobs you've been doing. Uh, Says, you know, uh, 
asks if you'd like him to try and investigate any of the issues with Trauma Team. Yeah, I think I know where it stemmed from, so if you could look into this lead. Of course. It. We can always teach him the... Uh, if we find out he's responsible, show him exactly what the good book has to offer. No, like you, Dick, I, uh... As long as I have proof, I'd prefer to handle it myself, if you know what I mean. Of course! I like your style, kid. Did you guys enjoy your... It, it is a delicious steak. It is yeah, good. I bet. <laughs> um, you have a wonderful meal, uh... Eventually, you get a call uh, from the Iron Bulls. Uh, Sebastian's on his way down with uh, the supplies to, to rig up Tech World. Uh, you have to excuse yourself and head out to lunch and uh, head down to Tech World, uh, begin working on that. And you were going to start reinforcing the, the doors, correct? Yeah. Fix make, up the place. Make a basic tech for me. All right. I'm nice. sorry I forgot about that part in my recap. Yeah. <laughs> sorry um, about that. <laughs> all good. And I will spend two luck on this. Because we need walls and we uh, need okay. doors. Ah, they're and overrated. It's going to be the best wall ever. Um, I will be going back to Tech World, by the way, for Frosty to meet up with the crew today after that cat shopping. But... Did it not? I don't think the rest of the crew is planning on being there, per se. No, oh, Ume's not planning on being Bard there. Bard doesn't okay. know that. <laughs> Guess it didn't roll. Seems odd would, Bard would just assume we're all there. Okay. He has kitten photos to share, damn it. <laughs> Ume, Ume has Insta, uh, Cybergram. You just post it on mm. Cybergram. She would totally follow cute cat pictures. What'd you roll? Okay, so it just popped up several, but first one is uh, 21. 21? So you, you're making good time. It's getting late into the evening by the time Bard shows up. Uh... And Bart, it'll take about uh, five days for your cat to arrive. Yeah, but, uh, but you've got little pictures, <laughs> uh, little videos of it uh, that they've sent you. Uh, but you show up to Tech World and find Reverend welding some steel plates together on the doors and making sure that the doors slide up and down, and uh, Nova running in and out, moving moving her equipment out of Tech World. Anything I can do to help? I say, like, I'm in. Um, uh, if you can position these panels and plates over on that wall. Uh, sure. I, I mean, is, it, is that a is that an athletics or a tech check? Because you just have to put them there, basically. Um, Neither. It just if you're just okay. putting yeah, yeah, panels I'll do it. Yeah. on the wall, you're just moving them. Uh, you gonna say anything? Uh, you would notice the plaid paint over. Reverend's I'll, mask. <laughs> I'll look. I'll look at his mask and I cock my head. Um, new fashion sense. Uh, new take or? No, I guess you haven't heard. Uh, you should probably talk to X. I'm sure she's looking for you. Uh, I'll uh, use my internal audio to call Hex. Um. X, you get a call as you're scrubbing away, preparing for Bruce to come over. You're muted. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, uh, go for Hex. Uh, this is Bard. Um, <laughs> Reverend said I should talk to you about some plaid on his mask. Um, I'm assuming no. Nova has something to do with this. Um, <laughs> do you need any assistance? Also, I have cat photos to show you. Uh, do we have, like, uh, FaceTime? <laughs> I would just show oh. him this disaster. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a nice here. square marquee, Bard? I do, yes, of course I do. So, yeah. um, I have all the detective as, as I you kind of hear him. <laughs> okay, I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll. And like you see her, and she's like, it's like just eyes and flat. <laughs> gonna, okay, let me. Okay, okay, I'll come help. Um, I have to right now, and I hang up, and I I head over to. to some... <laughs> <laughs> and I look at Reverend and. 
before I leave, I'll look at Reverend. The, the plaid is a good look on your mask, by the way. It kind of makes you look like a killer, crazy clown. I like it. Well, like, you've, had just... a, you've had a day to be cleaning. I was just saying, like, this is the front. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, yeah, I'll still head over there because that's what Reverend told me to do. <laughs> so... Oh, I didn't tell you to. I just need you out of my hair. <laughs> well, he did it. So, you know, you, yeah. congratulations. All right. At Bard's comment, Reverend would just turn back cap? to welding. <laughs> I'll take cap, yes. All right, it'd be twenty eighties. All right, I'll pay that. Ignore Bard. So next, uh, please make a personal grooming. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, have, I'm super great at that. <laughs> you gonna have better luck than Reverend did. Probably not. Kind of Does no one remember the blood in the interview? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna at least okay. I learned my lesson from the blood in the interview. I'm gonna spend a luck, so I can't just end up with brains in my hair. Ah, fourteen. <laughs> You're mostly clean. The apartment. <laughs> it's. You're you're still like scrubbing, trying to get the paint out of the carpet. It's dried and it's clumpy and. <laughs> <laughs> I'll knock on the door. Just uh, come in. It's not like it can get any worse. <laughs> I open the door. Oh, oh shit! Um, <laughs> do you need some help? <laughs> I need a new apartment. <laughs> no, that's not in the card. But here, let me, let me, and he like pulls up his sleeves and oh, but before I do, we'll get this face and he like shows her a cat photo. <laughs> um, not sure what to name her, but if you have any ideas, uh, about time you got a new one, I suppose. Oh, we'll, we'll, we're still gonna get cat back. No, totally. I want to get a friend for cat. This is not to replace cat. This is a friend for cat. Just be sure that no one can get at this one. <laughs> I'm going to buy a steel door and alarm systems and cat claws that are made of cybernetic whatever to make sure that they can kill anybody who tries to take them. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to post some of the pictures in the stream team eventually, but I'll just look around. And So, uh... Ooh, I'm going to name her Kit. I'll name her Kit. Kit and Cat. Uh, that's a cat. great idea. That's I couldn't, I couldn't idea, have suggested actually. that in character. <laughs> For everyone not watching, I, I made that suggestion in Old 20. Um, <laughs> I'm not there in character, so I couldn't say in character. I was going to say Bomb was the other one, because she's a bomb bay, but sure, that, that also works. Uh, anyway, uh, so, I like the new decor. I mean, sorry about your... The sound system seems completely broken, right? The hollow projector and stuff, it's like... Sound system's fine. Hollow projector shot. Yeah. Hmm. How much yeah, is Yeah, this is... Like, a lot. <laughs> need some help buying another one it seems like the whole crew would benefit from it I can chip in uh, well, I don't really... did say he'd fix it before Frosty kicked me out <laughs> um yeah I don't yeah dude I don't do handouts I think you know that <laughs> no it's not a handout I, I, this is for the benefit of the whole crew if we're gonna yeah. have movie nights I still, I still need to introduce you to Lion King right like it's yeah. Yeah, this is grumbly now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, I see her grumbling. I'm just, mm, okay. I start grumbling and start cleaning it stuff up as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two of you spend the time cleaning and get the place <gasps> as clean as you can after <laughs> a paint bomb. Right. <laughs> it's. There's still splatters of paint here and there. There's stuff stuck in the carpet, but it's, it's mostly cleaned up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we'll have to postpone movie night a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> sucks. Hey, at least the futon made it. Oh, I can see. And so it did was pet. the only thing to sit on. So I, I mean, pet. like at least it made it. Yeah. See, the cat was smart enough to hide under the tarp. So <laughs> gonna go done about an hour before uh, your expected. Yes, yes. you were you up. were a smart kitty, weren't you? You hid under the tarp. Yes, you did. <laughs> So... And eventually he'll you kind of smile and good luck, I suppose. Um, I mean, you yeah. know you can always contact me via my brain thing uh, if you need to. Well, I don't... 
Yeah, I know. It's yeah. I don't think it's gonna be that kind of conversation. <laughs> no, I. What kind of conversation were you talking about? I, I'm more into things went bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, like she's got some explaining to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I... Uh, I don't know if her excuses will be even remotely amenable to. I mean, she's I. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna look around the room. Um, based on this, I would say she has an enormous hill to climb, kind of Sisyphean style. Um, well, I mean, like, I think she's just lucky that it was fucking paint. That's true. I, I from what I've read of her police files, Nova doesn't usually restrain herself that much. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I, I get it. The crew's mad. <laughs> I don't well, know. I'm if glad she to have you looking out for us, but you know, be worth our time or not. Mm, I can say what my bet is, but I don't want to bias you. Well, I know. Well, I'm the one that got us mixed up with her in the first place, so I wouldn't put all that responsibility on your shoulders. I mean, we all were looking for work, but you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's admirable. It's admirable that you're trying to do that. Um, just, you know, don't try to be Atlas here. Well, there's a reason why she thinks that we're her crew. And it's not because of you or because of Reverend. That's true. <laughs> well, Reverend and I don't really give off the I'm your vibes to anyone, I think. Um, we kind of have the, uh, what's it called? He likes to We're calcitrant asshole appearance. Not, not your, uh-huh, okay. I'll remember that. He smiles. But we are your crew. Just remember that. And I'm going to look around and give Pet one last scritch. Um, and walk away. All right. Did you have help? Ume, what were you doing Friday? Was the music and stuff the Friday stuff, or was it Thursday? Uh, the the show that your band was playing on, that was in a few days. Time. No, 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 no. The, me looking that it up Thursday. and me playing my... Thursday. That was Thursday? Um, I have a thought. Um, this was... I don't have a, a fully formed thought, but after Reverend had that conversation with Dick Roman that Ume knows nothing about, David thought it'd be very fun if I continue... Because I briefly met Susie Lou. Mm-hmm. And we got along really well. She'd make a really nice friend. And so um, I think Ume would really like hanging out with Susie Lou. <laughs> and so I thought maybe Ume could, if if I remember if I got her deets or not. But if I did, you know, maybe I'd try to hit her up for a night out. Hex has her deets. Oh, message Hex. All right. I'll, I'll send her a message saying, hey, uh, do you have Susie Lou's contact? I'd like to hang out with her. Oh, for sure. Uh, and I'd forward on those details to her. All right. And then, and then I'll send a message to Susie Lou. Hey, this is Ume. You might remember me. Uh, blue hair, mohawk, played guitar, uh, killed Cyber Psycho. Um, uh, are you working tonight? Uh, let's hang out. You get back. Oh, yeah. The ones that killed the Night City Stalker. Wait, didn't you guys blow me off for an interview to go with that double guy? I don't recall you offering. I don't recall her offering us an interview, Frosty. She did to... to... <laughs> Uh, I respond back, I didn't choose to blow you off. I didn't even know you offered an interview. Well, here's your chance. Let's go party. It'll be very informal, but heck, why not? We'll do a couple of shots. It'll be a fun night. Make a persuasion fast talk. All right, I'm going to spend a point of luck on this, baby. A 24. Got yourself a date. Afterlife? Deal. Let's go. All right. Meet you there. Rock on. 
So you head out uh, later on that evening to the afterlife and uh, spot Susie Lou sitting there in a very tight suit that barely contains her, her buxom, uh, curvaceous body. Uh, buttons seemingly ready to explode as she's enjoying a, a, a drink, um, sort of at, sitting at a table waiting for you. And she's like, waves. I wave back, all excited. I go running up. We do a little kiss kiss. <laughs> yep. And then I sit down. Immediately run around a shots for the two of us. <laughs> so she says, so, what's going on? I saw you guys, I, the whole sexy hexes thing, really Double News 54, wrong avenue for you guys. If you're going to go with the sexy I agree. and you've got this gorgeous fashion sense amongst you and the others, like, you really should. I'm working on the others. Hex is good. Her clothing, top notch. Everyone else. They, they definitely work. need you... some work. They definitely yes, need yes. some work. But Reverend's got that whole mysterious mask thing going. We that could be that, totally but... hot in its own thing. It definitely yeah, has a well, demographic. It gives that air of mystery. Right, right. Some women go nuts for that. Not me, but some women do. But what, what, you know, catch me up. Tell me, what kind of jobs are you working on? What's the big news on the street? You know, you guys are all kind of kind of yeah. out there and edge running. Well, there's, you got there's a big a co- demo, you, you know, coming out with the Night City Stalker. You know, that gave you guys some rep right off the yeah. bat. Yeah, no, I know. Um, well, we got a couple of things that are kind of on the down low, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, I'd like to get my name out there more. Um our other thing that's like going on, um, um, we we're, we're setting up a sting, so I can't tell you too many details. But it involves like uh, like 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 people like turning women into sex dolls. What the fuck? Very fucked up. That sounds like fucking sh- bullshit. You gotta mm. let me cover the story. Well, I don't think we can let you there. Well, maybe I can try to Are get you guys footage equipped for, you. for cyber recording. Uh, yeah, I think that Bard guy is. The guy with the fedora? Yeah. I think he's, yeah. he's got cyber eyes and shit. I think he's got the digital... I think he might have a digital recorder. Look, record whatever goes down. Mm. As much of it as possible. Make sure to get plenty of data chips. Record mm. it. Yeah. Bring it to me, and I can totally put a hot spin on it. We'll cover you guys in the nightly news. I'll get your names out there. We'll share, uh, you know... And and it'll totally be great for both of our business. Sounds great. Sounds great. Look, if we manage to if we manage to get some good stories for you within the next say I don't know two weeks, mm-hmm. could you uh, could you maybe um, uh, do a special for me? This has to be much. Maybe a five minute piece on like how a band might like pick out its lead singer and like do a whole piece on like like taking the name and moving on without him and like removing the soul of the band like making it into a hollow shell and then like and like the former singer maybe coming out looking good at the end of it well usually that really depends you see for bands you know if they haven't made it yet band members shift and change all the time once they've been on a label though and hit the hit the road and start making the name for themselves that's when you can't change the front you know what Susie? Susie, don't worry about it you're right they haven't made it big uh, at least not yet. Not worth not worth the trouble. I, however, would like to make it big, but uh, I haven't figured that part out yet. You play? I do. Yes, yes. I, I was in a band, um, but I have... Uh, apparently, you did not watch our interview because it did kind of come up. Uh, I don't blame you being I, your rival station. I skimmed it, I'll be honest. Not my favorite thing. I'm not a fan of Studio 54. I don't blame you. They're all hollow and mainstream. Who gives a exactly. shit about that kind of stuff? They got no spin. None. No, no style. None. None whatsoever. Uh, that, and, and they're that assholes. That guy was a real jerk trying yeah, to totally kind of twist everything down. And it just, yeah, I didn't want asshole. to see you guys go down that way. Right. You tried to see it. But, uh, uh, but yeah, no, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm between bands, one might say. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. Well, if you're ever interested... Channel 2 has a full production studio. You're welcome to rent some time. Maybe I mean, work I on can... your solo album. Yeah, okay. Maybe. I haven't decided if I'm going to do solo yet, but um, uh, I might. I was thinking about getting... I, 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 
I might try to get like a home studio, but those are expensive. Those but are. yeah, if you let me use yours for a while, I think well, they, they, be they, they, they are available for money. You do have to know someone. I happen to be someone that could get oh, you in. But uh, they run about 600 an hour. It's going to take a couple of jobs, I think, before we have that much money. Um, so, I mean, I might be better off saving up and buying my own studio, actually, at that point. True, but ours do come with professional, you know, people to work all the equipment uh, and run everything. Well, okay, well, maybe once I get, like, some songs written and stuff like that, you know, like, I, I, not, definitely not the price for, like, like working, you know, trying to figure yeah, things yeah. out, trying to get the sounds. It's like... That sounds like that sounds more like a recording studio, like properly oh, yeah. getting it recorded, produced. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely be interested in that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, like I said, I got to figure that part out still. And um, and and one might say, look, I'm not a bitter person, but I might be a bit bitter. Maybe just a little. Just a just a tidge. So. Well, hey, fuck them. Best revenge. Is uh, showing them up. That's right. Classing them. Well, I wanted to. I was thinking I'd maybe uh, wreck one of their shows, but that's still a work in progress. I might know somebody who knows a little bit about hateful demolitions. Their show. The best way to do it is to put on a, sh- a rival show at the same time and take their audience. Ooh, I don't know if I can do that in two weeks. Maybe yeah. the maybe the show they have after that. Maybe the show they have after that. Maybe. I got a lot of writing. I haven't composed anything yet. That takes time. Or but I like you can your always idea. hire a gang to crash their concert. Well, I don't really a gang. Gangs are a little bit unruly, and as much I'm as just like, saying, you know, it depends on how somebody, bitter you are. Some, somebody's gonna die. I'm not that bitter. <laughs> I'm not that bitter. Yeah, some my some uh yeah mm, no no I I I don't I don't want to I don't want to be that bad. Um. Uh. So yeah. But hey, let's do another round of shots. Let's go dancing. Shots. Um, <laughs> and uh, Frosty, I have no other role playing in mind. Okay. If you want to move on, and we can just say that Ume and Susie Lou have a fun, wild night. They they have a great one. Um, we are going to take a brief break, and then jump to what's next. So see everyone later. Uh, we'll be right right back.
Hello, everybody. Unfortunately, our dear Frosty is feeling extremely sick. We will have to call session early tonight. So until then, say good night, pet, and good night, new unnamed kitten who's probably going to be named Kit. But don't say that whole thing. It's a long sentence. Bye, everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> and. Uh,